Are you and your baby daddy still having sex? Instagram. So I am doing a life update. Um, 21 questions, I guess, because I picked out 21 questions because there was quite a few questions. So I just took it down to one of the best questions that I want to answer today. Um, if you haven't already, these questions are based off of a previous video that I've done on my channel. This is the video right here. So stop what you know right now. Pause this. If you haven't watched that video yet, pause this and go to that video right now. I'm going to link it down below. Do not continue watching this video unless you watch that video first. <laughs> Secondly, if you are not yet a subscriber, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And subscribe to my YouTube channel, please, you guys. I want to get to 100 subscribers for the new year if i get more that's great but i really would like to get to 100 subscribers um this is our first time where it's like i'm doing this youtube thing by myself so i'm like getting back into the groove and but i'm gonna have a lot more videos dropping for you guys um so yeah we'll get straight into it so we're gonna get a little closer personal so the first question is, after your divorce, what was one of the things you looked at differently about life? So, there was a lot of things that I looked at differently about my life um, after a divorce. If y'all hear that, that's my dog. Somebody just knocked on the door. I don't know who just knocked on the door, so give me one second. Um, so something that I looked at differently, the main thing that I looked at differently, I would say, I don't want to categorize just men in general, but I want to say relationships. I look at differently now. It's like, so I was in a relationship, a marriage. I, well, I was with him for two years. Then we was married. We was with each other for two and a half years and then we got married with this man for about nine years i would say so throughout the nine years we had a lot of things happen that i will never speak on camera about but we had a lot of things go on in our relationship our marriage um that really like changed me to who i was um i felt trapped because it's marriage it's not like you could just walk away um, I felt like I was stuck in something that I just couldn't get out of and deep down I knew that I shouldn't have been in it anymore. Um, so now looking at life now, I know that I don't want to be in anything that I feel like is going to change me. I don't want to be in anything that I feel like if I feel like it's not bringing me enough happiness or if I feel like that I'm not loved or getting the attention that I need, the affection. If I just feel like in general, like if you're not giving me what I wanted, I don't have to be here. And I'm not going to let myself be treated poorly again. So I definitely look at like relationships differently. Like now I know what I want. I know how I should be treated. So let's move on to the next question. How is your relationship with your ex slash your baby daddy? Um, so right now we are better. Um, at first it was like, every time you talk to me, like I just get an attitude and I'm just annoyed by everything you say. Like, I just hate talking to you. Stop calling me, stop texting me. It was like that. Now we're, we have a great friendship and we're in a better space. 
we are great at co-parenting. Um, we talk to each other better. Um, there is still some things that may get under my skin and I'll just be like, okay, bye. Like, I just don't want to talk to you no more. Like, just end it. And he'll be like, okay, let's just change the subject. Because at this, we don't want to hate each other for the rest of our lives. We, we want to try to build a friendship. So if he says something that upsets me, he'll just go to the next topic or he'll just say something else to move on from that. Like, we have a great friendship right now going. I appreciate him for wanting to be a friend instead of having so much hate underneath our belts that, because that's just what it was. So as of now, that's our relationship. Well, friendship, I should say. That's our friendship as of now. Um, <clears throat> next question. How does your family feel about him after that video? So... After that video, my family, it was like mixed feelings across the board. Um, a lot of family members was crying and they was emotional and very upset about it. Um, a lot of them was pissed because of the fact that I went through that. And they feel like that I shouldn't have been going through that. They didn't, they didn't know that um, all that was going on. Um... I have some family members who's upset, but at the end of the day, they still talk to him, um, which I'm totally fine with. Like, I don't want them to hate him. I don't want him to be able to show up to function and they just look at him and they still see him based off of the person that he is, that they know of him as, not the person that he, that he came out to me as. Some family members, um, I didn't have it too much out there for them to see it, so there's no judgment coming from them. So I had to wait until I watched it yet because I know that I could face like my grandparents. They only watch YouTube, so they don't even know that I went out to that video. So um, it's different across the board. Our next question Do you feel happier? Oh my God. Yes. I feel completely. So freaking happy like you know that happiness that you've always wished that you wanted the happiness that you always thought that you could have but you never thought that you would ever get the happiness that you really fight for that you see other people have I finally have the happiness that I'm always wishing you like I'm not stressed I will school that stresses me out but anyways when it comes to me and my personal life, I am not stressed out. I'm so happy. There's not a day that I'm not laughing or smiling. I'm not worried about nobody. Like, I feel so good. Like, I wake up in a good mood. I go to sleep peacefully. I don't have nobody leaning over my shoulder watching my every move. I don't have nobody questioning me. I'm so happy. I'm not saying that you only can be happy. I've never really been happy in my life. So for me to finally feel that happiness, I'm so, I'm so grateful. Um, next question. What was your favorite thing about your ex-husband? Um, I guess I would say like he knew how to make me laugh. Like he wasn't afraid to like be goofy with me. Things like that. Next question. What are pros and cons to being single? <clears throat> so some pros to being single, I would say is not being questioned, not having nobody looking over your shoulder, um, finding your true happiness and loving yourself. Um, the cons to being single, I don't really have no cons except for my phone be dry but i'm okay with that next question since your divorce have you had feelings for someone else no i haven't had feelings for anybody else i don't catch feelings like that um sadly i became really cold-hearted so i don't have yeah i haven't caught feelings for anybody um I've had a crush, but 
I have, I wouldn't even say I've liked somebody like that. Um, but yeah, I haven't caught the words for anybody. What was your was your divorce a setback for you or a come up? Um, my divorce was a come up. Period. Point blank. My life has been getting better since I've divorced. So there ain't nothing really much more to say. Do you or have you or do you have one already or are you looking for a sneaky link? I have a sneaky link. Oh, I love to have a sneaky link. I want a sneaky link. That's it. I don't have one, so I can't even really speak on too much about that question, but it won't be my sneaky link. Sneaky link. Sneaky link. Let me know. Well, no, I need a background check. I need all of that. I need to see you. I need to know what your vibe is. I, you know. But yeah, I want a sneaky link. Grade your happiness then and now. Question. Um, my happiness then when I was married, um, and I'll say when yeah, when I was married, I would say my happiness was probably about a five to six. Now I would give myself a good nine. Not a ten yet. But I'm getting there. I'm proud of myself for even being a nine, honestly. So I would definitely say my happiness is a nine. What has life been like as a single mom? Life as a single mom, honestly, it's been the same since I was married. Um, everything that I did in my marriage when I was married with my children and my home with him, I do now. So nothing's changed. Um, I do most of the grocery shopping. I did, um, well, I would say the only thing that's changed is, like, now I have to buy diapers and wipes on my own. My backdrop. Anyways, let me move it over so y'all ain't got to see that. But, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I would just say that I have to buy diapers and wipes by myself. Everything else I was always doing, shopping, I was always shopping for them, buying my clothes and stuff. Um, even when I was working from home, I always still had um, my baby up under me or knocking at my door trying to get in my room. So, and I'm pretty sure y'all been hearing him in the background with my mama this whole video. So, nothing's changed. Um, hence why I'm divorced. Next question. Are there anyone you have your eyes on? I do have my eyes on somebody. Um, I'm pretty sure they know who they are. I have my eyes on them. I don't know what will happen. I don't even know if we'll ever, I don't know if we're going to go on a date. We haven't been on a date yet. Um, but... I'm not going to say too much. I'm just, yeah. Are you and your baby daddy still having sex? No. No, we're not. And I know he's watching this. You comment down below and prove, no, we're not having sex anymore. Um, that train is long gone. But yeah, no, we're not having sex anymore. Next question. How's school going? School is stressing me out. Okay, you hear me? Three of my classes, I'm good in right now. But this one class, microbiology, is just kicking my butt. And I'm really struggling right now. I just need that grade to be up at least to a C by January. Um... If y'all are a good tutor and y'all know microbiology, please hit me up on my Instagram because I need y'all help. Like, for real, for real. I'm not trying to fail. And I would really gladly love to pass. Let me get back because I'm about to fix this because it's about to make me mad. All right, that's better. I had to renege it real quick. <clears throat> but yeah. School, otherwise that is going really good. I just need a tutor for microbiology. So if you're out there, let me know. If I work for me, let me know. Next question. 
how's the kids adjusting to y'all not being together or living in the same house together anymore um they're adjusting fine um they actually get excited on weekends when it's time to go to dad's house i don't know why but yeah they're just in fine he used to always work all the time anyways um i was working from home recently so i still learn now so um it's not a big deal they still see him all the time they talk to him every night every day so nothing different but other than that they're just in fine we'll find out when they get older what's going on with your business so i need to take down those websites because i'm getting charged for them every month um i decided to not do it no more because i'm so focused in school i don't have time to do it anymore i was gonna do it for just for the holidays like bring it back but it's a lot of people doing it so I'd rather let y'all get y'all coins and I'm going to stay focused on school. It's just something that I just don't have time for anymore. Like, I had time for it when I wasn't in school. Now that, and I wasn't in school for the last two years, so I had time for it the whole last two years. Um, Now that I'm in school, I really just truly don't have time for it. And I work more than two jobs now, so I just don't have time for it. But yeah, all the businesses, I just don't have time. Um, what's going on with the surgery? Is that still on the table? Um, I don't know. I still still want to get it. Um, I was thinking about just trying to do it next year. I don't know. I have a um, mixed thoughts about it right now. Um, because I have been losing a lot of weight. Um, so we'll see. I do want some booty still. But if it's a guy out there... Like the last question, if you want to be my sneaky link and you want to try to pump me up a little bit, let me know. So I gotta get my surgery. But if not, baby, it's definitely still on the table. Next question. Are you thinking about making your own wigs to sell? No. I'm not. Um, that would be cool. Since I do do my own hair. But I don't have time at all. I really don't. Can you see yourself married again? Um, so as of right now, no, I don't. And I can say that because I'm not with nobody. Um, I don't have anybody right now who's marriage material for me. Um, no, I really just don't see myself married again in the future. Um, asking that question in like three, three years, maybe. But I really don't see myself married again. I'm just, I don't know. I just don't. Last two questions. What are some goals you are putting in place for yourself next year? Um, <clears throat> so some goals that I'm putting into place for myself next year. <sighs> find some land. I'm not going to tell y'all where. But find some land. Um, start my clinicals, which means that I will be 75% done with school. So start my clinicals and continue to stack. That's it. So far, those are my three goals for next year. Last question. Have you, are you, or would you ever consider moving out of Jack? I do plan on moving out of Jacksonville. I do not like staying in Jacksonville. I never like staying in Jacksonville. Ugh, excuse me. Um, I hate it here. Um, there's people out there that I just, I don't know. It's Jacksonville's just full of drama. I want a fresh start and I also want to go where the money is. Um, so if my job takes me somewhere else, something is paying more, I definitely won't be here anymore. Um, wherever I build my house at is where I'm going to be at. Um, but yeah, no, I do not plan on staying in Jacksonville. I don't like Jacksonville. I hate Jacksonville. I love New York, Florida. I love Florida, though. But Jacksonville is just, 
it's just not me like y'all might think it is but if y'all really really know me Jacksonville ain't me it's, it's not me at all it's, it's just not so that's it for this video if you guys want have any other questions y'all can comment it down below in my comment section i don't have a problem with answering those questions in my comments or if you want me to make another video and you guys wanted more questions y'all can um hit me up on my instagram and i'll put some questions to the side that you guys ask me for another upcoming video but stay tuned this week i do have more videos dropping for the holidays and i can't wait i appreciate you guys so much for all of the support, all of the love that I've been getting posting throughout all my social media platforms. I really do appreciate it. Um, other than that, thanks.